ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the AEW Double or Nothing and WWE King of the Ring live stream. We will be starting in roughly two minutes. Welcome everyone, it's RP Jimmy along with Bill, and we're here for another live stream, specifically for WrestleQuest, and we're going to lower the volume just a little bit on here. Bill, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm good. I've had a busy week. It's the end of the week, and we have two shows that we're going to be discussing. And just like usual, when we talk about the shows... We're going to go on a match-by-match -match basis, and we're going to talk a few minutes here before we even start the gameplay. In fact, let's put this on. Uh, the gameplay of WrestleQuest. Bill, I have to be honest with you, I don't care about either of these cards, for the most part. Okay. Uh, I think there's, a, there's like very few things that I actually care about in this, and we're going to get to them, obviously. Um, right. What, what are your thoughts on the card? I mean, with King and Queen of the Ring, there's one, maybe two matches I'm looking forward to. Because we are going to mention the spoilers of SmackDown. Yes, good call. Cause, Absolutely. Because uh, they're in Saudi Arabia. And then with double or nothing I am intrigued by how they're going to present the triple main event which we that's one thing I am going to talk about oh yeah we're definitely talking about that nonsense <laughs> that's some real <laughs> WWE type nonsense right there right there's only one main event and we'll, so, we'll talk about that um yeah and then as far as the double or nothing side you know we'll talk about um, you know, I guess some of, again, there's reasons why, there, don't get me wrong, there are certain things that I am interested in, but not a lot. Uh, right. And, and boy, the, you know, every time I do a WWE and AEW show, we, we do one of these, I watch the Raw or Dynamite, you know, beforehand, oh. uh, the, the last one, and only that one, because I cannot devote what like eight hours total of my life to pro wrestling exactly. exactly um so i did watch dynamite and raw and i thought those were very poor shows i can tell you the, the best thing i thought from raw was that maybe otis is gonna be good again mm -hmm. the best thing from dynamite was probably darby and the flamethrower 
uh, what were your thoughts on this past week's Raw and Dynamite? Okay. So, with Raw, I totally agree with you with Otis. That has been been that's been building really good for like the last month month and a half um because chad gable as a heel is so good oh my gosh it's just amazing how good he is as a heel um with the rest of raw it's kind kind of like nothing of like real importance happened Mm mm-hmm and then with Dynamite, and this is going to surprise you, Jeff. I actually did not see the show until the very end. Because I was busy working around the house, doing gardening stuff with my dad. And my nephew, JT, had his spring concert okay. that night. And that was going on while Dynamite was happening. So by the time I got home... And, like, I was just ready to go, slow down, you know, get ready for bed. I caught, like, the very end with Brian and the Bucks and Okada and then Darby Allen having uh, the flamethrower from Spaceballs there. So, mm. um, so I actually didn't really see Dynamite for the most part. Okay. Yeah, there wasn't much to chew on there, in my opinion. But again, but neither was Raw. Uh, by the way, I was curious. Look at these like this bestiary that we have, and we're about to to play the game a bit here and start going over matches. But the beat, get them back over there. The bestiary. There's these asshole, uh, this asshole mariachi band. Now I'm curious what it says about them. Ernesto, a hot-headed guitar-strumming mariachi. His music attacks can damage all nearby, if he chooses. If he chooses. Miguel, a drum-beating mariachi warrior. His rhythm section efforts support, support the beat and his allies. And Travis, watch out for the sass from his breast. This mariachi is the king of winning the crowd on his side. Also, let me throw out right now that apparently one of my Joy-Cons is low-powered. So I don't know how that's going to affect the stream at all, but either way, we were going to plan on taking an intermission for about 15, 20 minutes later on. Mm -hmm. So we might have to do it early. I'm hoping maybe if it runs out, I can just switch to one Joy-Con only, but that remains to be seen. Right. Now, let's get into, I guess we'll start with King and Queen of the Ring. Yeah. But before we do that, can we talk about how nonsense King and Queen of the Ring has been? Because I, why can't these people, and what I mean is any wrestling promoters out there, why can't we do a proper one-night tournament? You know, I think, and, and I'm not defending anybody. Yeah, yeah. I think the idea with one night tournaments in in their mind mm-hmm. is that maybe they think it takes so much out of the crowd that by the time you get to the end it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. M- maybe I'm wrong, you know. Um but no, I I wouldn't like with the indies, I'm okay with them doing a 2-day tournament. Mhm. But like with, I agree with WWE and AEW and basically anyone that has a national TV deal. Yeah. If you do a pay per view, why not do a one night tournament? I don't know. I don't. I just. I just don't get it. Now I want to bring this up. Yes. Because when I heard this yesterday, I almost got Jim mad. And what I mean by that is, I almost became like Jim. When he gets bad at times. Mm-hmm. So, so they do. Okay, so they had announced at the Backlash pay per view. Okay, we're doing King and Queen of the Ring. We've got the brackets for Raw, you know, and then we'll reveal the brackets for SmackDown a few days later. Okay, I'm 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 fine with that. Mm-hmm. You go through the tournament, and then 
the day before the SmackDown taping and two days before the finals of the tournament, Triple H mentions, oh, by the way, the winners of the tournaments get a title shot at SummerSlam this year. Mm-hmm. Could not you have done this in the beginning? You know, maybe make it more interesting. Like, my God, it's one job. Someone had one job to do, and that's like, oh, if you win the tournament, you get the, you get a championship match of your brand at SummerSlam. Right. Also, it would be nice for them to say specifically, although I'm sure part of it is so they can quote unquote change their mind later. What title it's for? Well, I guess well, for the women's, it has to be one specific title. It, it's basically whatever brand you're on. You're going for that belt. So no, no, no but, they, but but they did not say for men's like if the men's have a secondary title, which that, is that nonsense. Is true. No, what I mean is what I'm mad about is again the fact that's not one night. That's number one. And also the fact that they just had a brand split, like a, or like a you know, like draft. Who's this? Mm-hmm. Yell box. Yell box. It's always so quiet here. It's the perfect getaway for my day job. They're already having a Raw versus SmackDown match, mm-hmm. and I think that's that annoys me too. And then what's going to get more annoying is we will get that again for Money in the Bank. And then after that, let's see if they do it at Survivor Series. Uh, They may not do it at Survivor Series because they've done war games the last two years. Right. Well, was that brand exclusive the last two years? Mm -mm. No, it it, it was for both... A Raw match and a SmackDown match. Okay. So, yeah, I'm annoyed by all of this. And lump in the who's fighting for the title in the main event. And, yeah, this is not a a great time for me. So, all right, well, let me just type in the chat here. Welcome to the AEW Double or Nothing and WWE King of the Ring slash Queen of the Ring. And then, Bill, you're as we go through each match, you're gonna you're gonna put, you know, what match we're talking about right. in the chat. Right. Oh. So wait, hold on, wait, let's do this cutscene real quick because I know this is a cutscene. Check it out, dude. B A W wrestlers, dude. There's some great ones up there, man. Like the Luchador, the high flying fish, Luchador sensation. Who is this guy? With the blue and gold. Oh, no way. That's Meltdown, man. A real babyface. Back in the golden era of B.A.W., dude. Meltdown. He's something of an urban legend, dude, brother. He was on top of his game. Super popular with the fans. And then one day, he just disappears. Attention, citizens. Those seen selling double A's, wind up cranks, or magnets will be arrested for the black for the black for black market power supply. That is all. Have a bright day. Bruder, do Mayor Mark and the Meltdown look similar to you? I, I can't tell. Meltdown wears a mask, dude. Come on, you have to learn to look for the man behind the mask. How do we do that, brother? You can catch him at home. Let's go. Let's go make a mayoral visit. Okay. We're gonna go make a mayoral visit. Also, I don't know why my um. Maybe it's just coming out uh, across on my end, but I feel like there's a little bit of lag. I don't know if it's because I just got home and like you know my internet wasn't super powered up or what, but. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. Alright. Alright, Bill, let's get to the first match for King and Queen of the Ring. Okay. So 
I'm gonna type this in and then I will we will go through this. Uh, do, do, do. So while Bill's getting all of that together, I just want to mention, originally, this stream was going to be a four-hour stream. However, I am ha had trouble on my end scheduling a four-hour block, so we're only doing three. We can do all these matches within three, and we'll probably have a little intermission so I can eat something, because I literally cranked this on right when I got out of work. Right. So, I don't know, that'll be in probably about an hour and a half. So, all right, first match, go ahead. What do we got? Okay, so our first match is a pre-show match. Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair will defend the women's tag team titles against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Okay. So, for this match... Hold on. Oh, we... oh, I had one too many joint juices at the coil drive. I'm feeling pretty bendy today. Do you have an audience permit? We've got something bigger than that, pal. And I'm not talking about my 37-inch Mambas, dude. We have a message from Mayor Mork from Meltdown. Yikes. For two reasons, because of my battery. <laughs> For two, yeah, literally, two reasons. Sounds important. It is bureaucratically important. The mayor is just ahead. I mean, we might have to take multiple breaks if the controller's dying. And I can't <laughs> use the other one by itself. But we'll see. Right. Let's see where we go. Who are these people? I don't have any appointments today. Yeah, you'd be a lame right Yeah, I recognize these miscreants. These are those flickers I met over by the bridge. I told you, Flickers, the bridge would be activated next week. We're not here to trade insults with a can eater. Wow. Or even to seek an audience with the mayor, brother. And what are you doing here? We're here to talk to Meltdown. I have no idea what you are talking about. How could you deny it, sir? The bright lights of the arena. The wind in your hair as you leap from a turnbuckle. The cheers of the crowd crashing on you like a wave. These are the things a wrestler can never put behind him. How dare you come in here and speak to me in of such things, guards! Escort these dissenters out of here. Okay, bye. <laughs> All that for naught. Uh, yeah, I think I'm sure. Th oh, that didn't work. What exactly was your plan anyway? Annoy the mayor into <laughs> opening the bridge? Yeah, what was his plan? Yeah, really. Dr. Jones, you have just witnessed what I call phase one. Ready for phase two, amigos? Does it involve making more political enemies? No, but it does involve making a historic friend. Come on, time to take a visit to the upper docks. Like the power back on. <laughs> so, I don't, this means. It's pretty shut and closed for me. Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair win. Yeah, ba basically, because I was reading the, the SmackDown spoilers. Um, oh, we should give that right now, actually. Go ahead, who won? Okay, yeah, why don't, why don't we do that? Spoilers incoming, if you will, unless you want to actually wait four hours for this to happen. Yeah, un unless you really want to watch the SmackDown tonight. Okay, so the opening match was the 
Queen of the Ring semifinal match, Bianca Belair against Nia Jax. Nia Jax advances to the finals. Um, and then there's a bunch of segments, uh, one of which is Bianca talks with Candice LeRae after the match, which is going to set up the pre-show match there. Uh, then we had a Grayson Waller effect. Yay. Um, they do some talking. Uh, Carmelo Hayes comes out. Then LA Knight comes out. Then the Street Profits come out. Which leads to a six-man tag match of LA Knight and the Street Profits against Carmelo Hayes, Grayson Waller, and Austin Theory. Knight and the Profits win. Uh, then we have... A backstage or uh, a segment with Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul. Um, don't really care about that. Uh, then we had a non title match. Bailey defeated Chelsea Green. After the match, Piper Niven attacked Bailey. So it looks like that's probably your next challenger there. Uh, and then the main event for the or for SmackDown. Randy Orton versus Tama Tonga in the semifinals of the King of the Ring tournament. Randy Orton defeats Tama Tonga. After the match, Orton and Gunther stare down each other. Solo hits Randy Orton with a Samoan spike. And then Kevin Owens comes in to attack Solo and tries to get a stunner, but Solo escapes the ring. Okay. And for God knows what reason... We are having a two-hour kickoff show starting at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Why? This doesn't deserve two hours. Hell, I told you that this didn't even deserve four hours of our time. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so yeah, pretty much uh, Jade and Bianca are going to win, like you said. Although there was a weird rumor last week. It was never confirmed. But I, I think after the last couple days, I think the rumors died that Bianca was pregnant. But really, I'm, uh, yeah, because it was, I was like, I think it was like Montez Ford, who is her husband, put up like father of three, and people were like, oh, Bianca's pregnant, and but she's been competing the last couple of weeks, so maybe she's not pregnant. I'm, I'm gonna say she's not, but. But so my question is though, then why if he's not pregnant, why would he say father of three? I don't know if maybe like he got a pet or something. Cause... I don't know, Bill. I don't know. You didn't do a great job convincing me that she's not pregnant. Okay, how about this? If they lose the tag titles tomorrow, she's pregnant. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I, ha I have nothing else. This is a high-stakes pre-show match for tomorrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the fate of the tag team division depends on a pregnancy that may or may not be true. That's so funny. Okay. Uh, what's the next match? All right. Um, uh, well, actually, before we do the next match, I, wa I want to ask, do you want to save the tournament finals for the end, or do you want them now? I don't know. You could you could pick. I don't really care. Mm, let's do them now. No. All right. I probably need to find a shop because I'm not doing a lot of damage to these guys at all. Right. And this is a problem. All right. So we're gonna talk now. The King of the Ring Finals: Gunther versus Randy Orton. Okay. You go, for, you go first with all of these unless I say okay. something. Okay. So, when we talked about in the beginning, matches I was looking forward to, this is one of them for this weekend. Because, in a weird way, this is like a dream match we've never even thought of. Mm -hmm. If you... I would have said, if we had done the recording Thursday or Wednesday, I would have been like, Gunther's winning it, hands down. However, after the announcement of, oh, the winner gets a title shot, you know, maybe Randy Orton? Because 
You could get Randy and Cody for SummerSlam, which would be actually a pretty... That has a story there, so... Right. But both guys, like, both have compelling, like, arguments for them winning. Because with Gunther, it's like, he had the Intercontinental title for almost two years. He's more than likely the next guy to get the world title mm. on Raw. But just, or <sighs> I'm going to say right now, I think Orton wins, but he doesn't, like, I wouldn't be upset if Gunther win, won, because I think Gunther's the one who deserves it more. Right. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Randy Orton wins. Okay. And because, I don't know, I feel because, I feel like under this new regime, they're going to want to give him something, because Randy Orton, correct me if I'm wrong, but Randy Orton hasn't really changed anything of his much lately, right? Not, not really. So I mean, if, if he wins this, you can call, give him a gimmick and call him the King of the Vipers. Yeah. And then that's kind of new, and... You're right. I think Cody versus Randy Orton would be a way to go for SummerSlam. And that would be something I would actually be very interested in. Yeah. And then, I, I, I do want to mention as well, let's say, you know, if Gunther wins, then it's almost like whoever wins at Clash of the Castle, even though they haven't announced it, but they're, they're kind of hinting that it's going to be Damian Priest and Drew McIntyre for that show. Right. And that's in Scotland. Like, whoever wins that match is more, probably more than likely going to face Gunther. They'll probably drop the belt to Gunther because they have a show at the end of August in Germany. Okay. And... Gunther could probably go into that as world champion. So whoever wins, I'm actually not going to be upset about because it's going to end up working out for either or both. Mm -hmm. But the money would be on one. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next match. How many like, matches okay. are there in at King and Queen of the Ring? Uh, only six, and we're including the pre-show, so only six. Okay. I gotta make sure I spell this person's name right. There we go. All right. So our next match is the Queen of the Ring tournament finals. Lyra Valkyria versus Nia Jax. Only saying that for you, Jim. Thanks. <laughs> so, Lyra is actually quite an interesting story. Oh, uh, Bruder, help me move these. Ain't no way, brother. We'll need some real firepower to get through here. What does that mean? All right. Anyway, go ahead, continue what you were saying All about right. Nia Jax. Yeah. And... So, with Lyra, she was drafted from NXT to Raw. And the tournament has been basically like her debut on the Raw brand. She, she was a former NXT Women's Champion. Um, she's, like, I, I've watched some of her stuff in NXT. She's good. Mm -hmm. Um... So the fact that they've given her this opportunity to go to the finals, the way it's been booked, has been pretty impressive. With Jax, and maybe I'm going to surprise you with what I'm about to say here. Yeah. Since she's been back, she's actually gotten better. Mm. She, I mean, she's not... Like, I'm, I'm not saying she's become, like the next level of Trish Stratus but if you look at her stuff from say three years ago maybe even yeah, to today she's better the okay. character's better she's moving around better um 
I mean, she's she just has got. I think part of it might be the fact that she was actually tr- maybe she was actually trained, or maybe there's not as much on her like pressure wise. Right, right. So I had said this today on that wrestling show and somebody made a pretty good comparison the other day on YouTube the Bianca Nia semifinals was basically the equivalent to like when you have like the top two teams in a sport playing each other in the co- oh, no it's the same oh, thing I'm just trying to we may need that walkthrough because I don't know what okay. in the world they're asking me because if you look at the exclamation point it's past here so I don't yeah. really know where to go. So after we talk, after you talk about this match, put the new, next match up. I'll talk about it, and you look at that walkthrough. Okay. But basically, it was like when you have two teams in the same conference, and they're like the two best teams, and it's okay. Whoever wins that series is more than likely going to win, you know, whatever league championship. That's kind of what Bianca and Jax was today mm-hmm. was whoever's going to win that match more than likely is going to win Queen of the Rings. So Jax won today. I'm going with Jax. Okay. I'm going to go with Jax as well. I for some reason I think she's going to win. It's going to be a whole like oh look at this. Maybe you know what they should do now. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> What if they did a thing like, I don't know, I'm trying to think what what I'm trying to say here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a little battery again. I don't know, forget it. I don't remember what it is. The little battery is distracting me. Um, why don't you give the next, well, I think I might have figured out what I'm supposed to do, so. And besides, I, uh, I'm very worried about this low battery situation. Alright. Um, so why don't you pop the next match, because I don't know too much about Lyra and... Nothing's ripped from Raw made me like care about her at all, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next match for the Women's World Championship Becky Lynch defends against Liv Morgan. Okay. What do you think? Um, this one, to me, is actually the hardest one to pick, and I'll I'll explain why. Liv is in this position, because, mainly because of the Rhea Ripley injury, and the same with Ben. Okay. If Rhea didn't have that freak accident on Raw after WrestleMania, we probably would not be having this discussion. They're building up Liv to be a heel, which I think she can pull off. However, Becky just won the title a month ago. But at the same time, there have been reports that her contract is running up soon. Yeah. So it's like, do you want Becky to have the belt? before the contract runs out or do you want Liv to win it even though she may not be ready yet to have the belt it's it's kind of a weird situation mm-hmm. so I'm going to say that this may continue I think Becky retains uh, first of all I also want to say I watched the the, I saw the, I, I don't know what it is, I, something about Becky's promo on Monday where someone's just like, oh my god, I, I don't know why, I did not like it, I was just like, that being said, I it might come down to contract negotiations with this. Mm-hmm. I, there's no way that I think that she should go to AEW, she doesn't feel like an AEW person, but then again... No. That's Mercedes Monet, and she's there, so. But. I, I think it's gonna be Becky. I think, and. 
And I don't know, she, her, her talking annoys me for some reason. Or at but least the promos of Monday. Yeah, go ahead. What if Becky doesn't go to... Like, I, I agree with you. I don't see her as an AEW person. But let's say she just doesn't sign the contract and she's like, you know what? I've done everything I've wanted to do. I've main evented WrestleMania. I'm going to go retire and be a mom. Okay. There, there could be that possibility. I would say good for her then. And I think that's, you know, that's good for her. Because with the money that she's made. Yeah, what does the money she have to really accomplish at this point? That's very true. Right. And the money that Seth makes, the both of them, they financially are set for the rest of their life. Because she just came out with her autobiography. Which I, um, did you know, I saw, I, uh, I, did you read it at all? Do you, I don't know, do you read rest, for wrestling books or not? I have not read the book. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but I, she did put, like, one of the first pictures in her book. And this was kind of a, not big, but kind of a funny thing, I guess, at the time. Was she put a picture of her and Seth naked wearing their respective titles? But there was one part, somebody put it up on Facebook, and it kind of surprised me. Um, because she mentions the gorilla position, right? And then we, and you and I, we both know who it's yep. named after. In the book, she's like. Oh, the gorilla position is named after some guy named Gorilla Monsoon, who I guess was a real person. Oh I'm God. like, what? I can be so I listened to a little. Somehow I listened to a little bit of her audiobook. I I don't know. Someone posted it. I guess I could not get far. I cannot take her voice. I'm sorry. Her voice is really a, a, a like does not work for me at all. And then maybe it, for the book, maybe because it wasn't a good written book. I don't know. I doubt it. I think it's just her voice because her promo on Monday annoyed me too. So, what do you think of her, her voice? Uh, I've never really thought about the voice. Um, I'm just like, okay, she's Irish. She's got an accent. Something that kind of irritates me in general and, and it's I mean it's not because of her but she's someone who does it mm -hmm. it's like when people either talk or do a promo and if like you hear very carefully they'll like do it like a loud breathe in the middle it's like oh no, no, you know <gasps> she she is so guilty of doing that and it's like at times it's annoying it's like, yeah that was i think she did that on monday i was annoyed by that too i i don't know i mean i never thought of it as annoying but i could see where you're coming from yeah. so all right so why don't you put up the next match um uh, i think becky's gonna win by the way i don't think she's going anywhere I think no i don't either she's gonna sign um We'll see what happens, though. Uh, put up the next match, but I need you to look up also while I talk about it. I need you to look up what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here. So you go up here, and it says, this is what it says. Bruder, help me move these. So we have to move these some way. And I'll talk to the people using this music. Actually, I'm wondering if I'm just going to talk to people and not play while you look this up. Can I put these Joy-Cons on the thing? Great. So now it's also going to charge, too. All right. There's your next match, and I will do my research. Thank you very much. All right. The next match is Triple Threat Intercontinental Title Match. Sami Zayn comes in as your champion versus Chad Gable versus Bronson Reed. Don't give a fuck about Bronson Reed. Do care about Chad Gable only because maybe this is when Otis turns good. And I was a big fan of Otis before any of this nonsense, that's for sure. Um, you know, I used to strut around with Mandy Rose. You know, like, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, he's the Kool-Aid man. It was great. <laughs> um... 
Sammy, I don't think Sammy's losing. He just won it, I think. Yeah. And I, it's weird because I almost feel like this should just be Sammy Zayn versus Chad Gable, but Bronson Reed's there too. It's kind of similar to, I think, in, in AEW, they have a triple threat match that I'm just like, why are you there? Like, it should be one on one, but yeah, as far as I know, Sami Zayn. Or as far as I think, Sami Zayn wins. Bill, why don't you give your thoughts and that way you can put up the next match and I'll continue to talk while you keep looking this up. Okay. So this is the other match I'm looking forward to on this show. Um, I, I kind of agree. Bronson doesn't really need to be in this match, but he's an athletic big guy. This is basically Sammy and Chad, the, the match. Otis will be at ringside for the match. Um, I expect Sammy to win this match, and maybe this is where we get the turn for Otis. And because the build up to the separation of Alpha Academy has been really good with the way he's talked to Otis and Akira Tazawa and Maxine Dupree, mm -hmm. it's just been coming off really, really good. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so I believe I know what you have to do. So oh, you great. gotta go back. Okay, hold on. Let me get the Joy Cons and the control on back on the controller here. All right, I gotta go back where? Um, you gotta go back to that kind of like space area towards the right. Towards the right? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a treasure chest there. Where? No, I, there. I, got, I got it already. Oh, you got the red shirt? Okay. So go to the right. And then you see the striped area in the middle. So go up the steps. This? Oh. Yeah. Okay. This looks even bigger than your 26-inch Vipers, Bruder. Too, too bad it ain't loaded like mine, though. Okay, so now we got to find a missile. <laughs> okay. Where the hell do we find a missile? While you look for the missile, put up the next smash. That way I can start this conversation on it. Okay. I'll, I'll try looking myself, too, while you look, because yeah. it gave me a new... Ex oh, no, I don't think it gave me a new exclamation point. No, it's still the same one. So I'll just stay here just in case that way you'll know where I am to guide me to the next place. All right. So this next match is the main event of the pay-per-view. Okay. All right. So you look up the missile thing and I'll start the discussion. Uh, we finally, we have your main event, WWE championship, Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. And what's even worse is I was, I wasn't as down on this to begin with because I was like, oh, this is good because have Cody win and then we could get rid of a championship because God forbid a wrestling promotion, not WWE exclusive, that a wrestling promotion has less titles and then they made it where apparently it's only for Cody Rhodes' title. So not only do you know that he's going to win, you know there's not going to be a title con um What's the word I'm about to say? Because we're going to say, uh, title. Unification? No, it's going to begin with a C. But yeah, that's two. No title unification. Uh, so yeah, I don't... It's like the worst of both worlds. Because Cody Rhodes, you know, is going to win. And your US champion is going to be pinned, but still have the title. Mm-hmm. And still defend it, like, once every three months. But the good thing is, I had read that apparently some of a, a, a higher up in WWE was released, like a, um, I don't remember what she did. I don't even remember her name. But apparently the other thing she did was, was instrumental in bringing Logan Paul in. So I'm like, oh good, maybe this will be the beginning of the end for him. Now that she's gone. As... We continue to wait for Bill with missile information. Look, I don't this this match, I 
I almost feel like if Logan Paul wins this match somehow, that we're not going to do Clash of the Castle. I'm, like, ready to make that declaration right now. <laughs> like, fuck that. We're not, I'm not rewarding their bad behavior of having Logan Paul win. So, which I believe is our next WWE one, Clash of the Castle. Yes. So, and more than likely, what's going to happen with that one, because, again, it's a Saturday pay-per-view, and it's also in the afternoon. Probably Friday night and me and Bill have talked about doing a stream for that on possibly Thursday night too. So more information as that is upcoming. And as long as Logan Paul does not win the title. Yeah, because you know what? Let's just make that a real declaration right now. If Logan Paul <laughs> wins, we're not doing Clash of the Castle. There we go. <laughs> just out of spite. is this even going <laughs> so a couple of thoughts I guess maybe I'll give some of my thoughts on Raw cause and unfortunately now that I'm thinking about it I don't remember too much I know it was King of the Ring let me look up real quick what happened on Raw this week while Bill oh what am I doing I can charge with the controllers yeah hold on I was a fool. I could have been charged again the whole four minutes that I was talking to you. Talking to everyone. Alright, let's see. Otis helps Jen Gable. Liv Morgan vows to defeat Becky Lynch. I mean, maybe I did talk about all this already. Uh, I mean, yeah, Jay Uso lost. Otis helps Jen Gable. Ugh, and then I had to deal... Oh my god, I just remembered about this. I had to deal with R-Truth and The Miz. I had to deal with that earlier, because I watched hmm. all these earlier. Don't worry, for those that are like, oh, he's just bashing WWE, don't worry. AEW will get theirs in roughly a half hour, probably, or an hour. Like, I know R-Truth was going to have Andre the Giant help him. Ron Breaker, I forgot that he did a thing. He's oh, like a yes! Show. I forgot about that! God, this, it, everything's so forgettable. Oh, this was funny. Sonya Deville came back, apparently. Because she appeared, and it was funny because she appeared on screen and no one gave any reaction at all. They're like, who? Poor Sonya. I don't feel bad for her. Uh, let's see. Yeah, what, what Braun beat up um, Ricochet, I believe. Yeah. Drew McIntyre suggests Damian Priest is spreading himself too thin. Okay. Okay, I think I know what, you, what we gotta uh, do now. Great, because I was about to bash on Carrying Cross, but luckily I don't have to do that. We could save that passion for another time. Apparently he's... I don't know what he's doing. He's recruiting. Oh, there's the low batter. I guess he didn't help that much. Yeah, he's trying to recruit the New Day... I think. Okay, so what do you want oh, to do? Oh, good, and they don't have to do their stupid bullshit anymore. I'm excited about that now. Go down. But then again, Karrion Cross isn't much better, to be fair. I know. All right, okay. so just go down, and then the right go down, and then you're gonna... Okay, actually, go to the left. To the go left, back to, to the, the left. left. And then... Oh, the treasure chest. Go down... And then go down again. Right. Right. Up. Possibly yep. fight this guy. Nope. Mm, okay. Nope. Don't need to. There's going to be another treasure chest right there. Wow, oh, this is far. There's oh. one down there, another treasure chest. Yeah, let me grab it real quick. Yeah. Red light. Right. So then just go back. Go back here? Yep, go back the way you came. You mean you made me go all this way to get a red light? <laughs> well, more of the missile than the light. Oh, we're making a missile? What we have is a plastic missile. Oh. Alright, so am I going back to my original spot now? 
So go up again. No what? Up. Okay, go up and then to the right. To the right or down? Yep, to the right. Oh, and this thing, okay. Yep. Hey, I think these missiles are just the right size. What now? Open fire, right? Yeah, open fire. <laughs> Walk away, no need for frightened. <laughs> All that just to do that, okay. Yeah, pretty much. All right, we move forward, though. Give your and... thoughts on Cody versus Logan Paul. I mean, this is such a predictable, easy win for Cody. I would be surprised if Cody just loses the title. Like if he, like if he loses and they have to do another rematch, maybe, maybe I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Not saying that I would be, but it would be a maybe. Um, although somebody I, I was listening to before you got on, I I, I think he kind of lost his mind today. <laughs> he was like, you know what would be cool is if Jake Paul got involved. Handed his brother the Nux, and Logan Paul wins the title, and then Mike Tyson comes out. <laughs> okay. And he's like, I thought you lost, but I I'll be I'll be Jake for your belt, Cody. Oh my god. The only thing I even like about that situation at all is that you might be able to hear the Mike Tyson Degeneration X music. <laughs> you can try to hold me down if you want to. <laughs> basically what Xbox stole. Oh, 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 what's this? Oh. Oh? What? Oh. What did I do? I want to come back, because otherwise I can't go anywhere. No. Alright. So, yeah, I'm, I'm probably have to do something here. On this right. side. Um. Yes, this is what we want. So yeah, so your thoughts on the overall card? Is this is this going to be a successful attempt for for Hunter to make King and King Queen of the Ring mean something? Because it sure as hell hasn't been something in a long time. Um, I the only positive that I can really say about this show is at least. It is not nearly as predictable as Backlash was. True. Like the like we talked about the men's King of the Ring final that could go either way. The women's world title could go either way. Maybe even the Intercontinental, but I'm not really holding my breath on that. Yeah. Um so that's probably the only positive that I could say. As far as if it being an annual thing, I don't know. I don't think it could be an annual thing, I, I, but I'm saying, do you think it will mean anything? Or do you think it'll just be forgotten, like... I could see it months. being... I, I could see it being forgotten in six months. Okay. But then again, maybe we'll be wrong. Who knows? Well, right, let me skip this ad for USAA. Yeah, I might need your help here because I'm noticing that we're in puzzle land, apparently. All right. So where? OK, so you went up the middle one? No, Is that I'm, right? I'm no. in the right one, I believe. Right one. OK, but I'm, I'm, gonna go, I'm going towards the exclamation point to see if that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. So, and then if I, if that's not it, then I'll probably need your help. But I think I'm going to have to fight this guy. So let me inventory and put some duct tape on or clear tape. You know, we probably should start double or nothing now. You know why? Because <laughs> they it's... have like 12 matches usually. Yeah, it's, uh, 
kind how, of a big. How many matches do they have right now? Right now, because you know they like right now, you know they like adding their last minute shit. They have ten matches. Okay. Two will be uh, added in the next twenty four hours. Yeah, more than likely. Okay, so, and, and they don't have, and the matches they probably will announce will be like for the buy in. Yeah. So, and we do not have any of those, so we will just. Okay, eventually, so eventually you're gonna want to get back to the middle. Yeah, which I'm not. That's what I'm doing. I'm here right now, and I'm just gonna go up and see if that's what I'm supposed to do. All right. So while you do that, yep. uh, let me put in the first match. What is this now? Why are there two of them? All terminals repaired. Are they? <laughs> Ruder, help me. Oh no, not another one of these. Ugh. All right, Bill, I'm gonna need your help. So I'll talk about the AEW International Championship match. Okay. That's the first match we're going to talk about, the AEW International Championship match. Roderick Strong defends against Will Ospreay. I'm glad you're starting with this one because... Oh, wait, do you do you know what to do already? Uh, I'm, I'm watching. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me put my, my solo discussion music on. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, and it looks like it charged the controllers. I mean, to be fair, looking at the time, we're still pretty early in the stream, because we're doing three hours. It's yeah. not even past the first hour, so... And if we're already done with King and Queen of the Ring, we're way ahead of schedule. Yeah, well, th this one's going to take us a while, so we... That, and we also have an inter intermission soon. Or not soon, yeah. like another probably 45 minutes-ish. Yeah. So, I don't know, let's do, like, if there's ten matches, let's do five, Let's about four or five, and then do intermission. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so I'm glad Bill started with this one because this is one of the ones I'm most intrigued about. Because Will Ospreay, it feels like they've been pushing as like, this might be their main guy in a few months. However, nothing about going after the international championship makes me think you're the main guy. So, does that mean Will Ospreay loses somehow? Or, does he win and they, they start making the international title more important? Or does Roderick Strong win and give Will, I'm assuming, his first loss in AEW? Yeah. And does that sound like it's the right guy to do it for? Maybe it is. Maybe they have big plans for Roderick Strong. I mean, he does is part of that stable that was kind of fizzled away because Adam Cole's not around. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know. This one's a tough call for me. This, this... It might be the toughest call for me in the entire card for Double or Nothing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do you have the solution? I believe I do. Okay, great. So let me grab my controller. Okay. What are we doing? Okay, well, you gotta go back down. Okay, that's fine. Oops. Back down to the middle or back down down, like... You're going to want to go back down, down. So okay. make the switch up here. Yep. And then you'll just hit that thing two times. Yep. Now there's going to be a, a person there or a figure that you want to avoid. Because if he sees you, it's going to be a match. 
Okay, so and just in case I do wind up seeing him by accident. Uh, just waiting on this pet. I'm not doing anything with this. Nope. Wow. Not right now. Okay. Wait, am I going to the first, second, or third? Third, I guess. Where you're at right now. Okay. So then you're going to make a left. Mm -hmm. To the left, to the left. And then you're going to go down. Yeah, now what? Left or right? Should... Wait, what is he... Hold on. Okay, we'll is put on going... Cosmo while I talk about Will Ospreay some more. I'd like yeah. to talk about Will Ospreay. For a go right ahead. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what his deal is as far as, like, is he going to get pushed or not? It feels like it, but... And I think Bill's the one that told me this, and if not, maybe I've read it somewhere, that they think that Will Ospreay is going to headline all in. And I have a hard time believing that if he wins the international championship. This is, which is what makes it even harder for me to pick this one because all in isn't that far away at this point we're in we're about to enter june and it's in august so only a few months so yeah I don't, this i i have a hard time i might ask bill to what he thinks about this match first before making my call on this but yeah this is probably one of the tougher matches of both cards that i'm trying to figure out who I think is going to win. So as uh, I'm watching the video, yeah. what I like about the buildup to this particular match is the fact that Will is hesitant to use the Tiger Driver 91. Mm -hmm. Like that is such a great story. Do you think that'll be what does him in? I he think goes to use it, and then that's how... Okay, I can see that. Yeah. I like that, actually, because it doesn't make him look too bad. Mm-hmm. Roderick wins, and you could have Will Ospreay do bigger and better things. Mm-hmm. I do like that. Okay. All right, what is... Yeah, so, okay, overall, I'm going to say, folks, that my pick is Will Ospreay. I'm uh, not a Will, I'm sorry, not Will, I'm sorry, uh, Roderick Strong. The Messiah of the Backbreaker, even though I don't even think he's called that anymore. No, but I was thinking of that nickname today, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, remember when you were the Messiah of the Backbreaker? <laughs> All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go down and to the left. Okay. To the left, to the left. Am I touching this? Uh, no. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to be able to avoid this guy, so I might have to fight him. Because look at the way he's going. Yeah. We'll see, though. I'll try. But I'm already healed if I need to be. Why don't you give your thoughts on this match? Um, or continue, because um, I don't think you finished. I... This is going to be a good match. Um... Osprey on pay-per-view. So far. As far as matches go, the quality I mean is two for two this year. The I match I'm with... touching this. Yes, you are touching this. The match with Takeshita, which, if I had to pick right now, would be my pick for the match of the year. Okay. Is in, was insane. The match with Danielson was really really good. I I wasn't, you know like going crazy over it like Meltzer was although part of it was probably because I had to have a cyst removed the next day so <laughs> um so that that you know may maybe cloud in my judgment although I did think it was a good match am I touching this let me see no um I I just really like you know strong on this one Okay. I think if, if you're going to have... Okay. If you're going to have Osprey lose, now would be the time to do it. Yeah. 
All right, so what you want to do is actually go back down. Back down? I didn't even do anything up here. Okay, fine. I'm avoiding this guy again. Am I going to the right, I assume? Yeah. So you're going to hit the the machine here. Where am I going? Up? Up. Oh, I figured that. Oh, yeah, that looks good. In the, che in the chest, there is a missile. Aha. Uh -huh. What is and this guy all about? We need that. Oh, we need the missile. All right, so let me see. Yeah, anyway, yeah, you won me over on your thinking of Will Ospreay. I should have gone into politics. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that good, Bill. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, plastic missile. So now, where am I going from here? All right, you are going back to that first area that we had. Not the one on the left. Down or to the left? To the left. To the left, to the left. All right, so why don't you put up the next match that way? Because I have a feeling you're going to need to continue this walkthrough with me okay and then i'll talk about it when uh when i get up to where i need to be so i'm just gonna go up where i was before mm-hmm okay. can't type for some reason <laughs> oh i'm putting the missile in here i assume yeah right. and fire all right, so now I think I know what I have to do. I gotta go all the way back now because it's gonna be open. I think I should be okay for now, so... Why don't you put in the next match and then tell me what your thoughts are. All right. Next match is the AEW Women's World title. Tony Storm defends against Serena Deeb. Um... The... I I just wish, and it's nothing against Serena Deep. It really isn't. But I wish Tony would have some competitor be like a legit threat to Tony Storm's title. I mean, she had it with Perazzo at uh, Revolution. Kind of had it with Thunder Rosa at the last show of Dynasty. And I like Deep. She's good. But Tony is winning this. Yeah. However, what I have noticed, no, no. and I think this is something that people that are listening to this should keep an eye out for. I think we are starting to see the Tony Storm character start to go on the edge of craziness. Mm -hmm. Like, she's becoming a little bit more and more unhinged as the time goes by. Right. And part of that, or a good example of that, was last week on Collision when she derobed and covered herself in Serena Deeb's flat. Because, like, it's kind of like, yes... Tony's doing the mind games but at the same time you could kind of see you know maybe you know like it's starting to fall apart like the cracks are starting to fall apart on right. Tony alright so my thoughts on this this is all right, maybe not most pretty, but I am. Hmm, now that's a familiar symbol. Dude, that's Meltdown Sigil. Sigil? Sigil. 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 Okay. This must be his ship. I knew he was hiding something here, brother. It's not a ship I'm interested in. It's this. What did you find? Meltdown's mask and bodysuit. 
You're not going to wear that, are you? Excellent. It still reeks of victory. Winning doesn't smell like that. Let's go. It's time for a reunion show. Okay. Hopefully there's a quick exit because I don't want to go through all that again to go back. Oh god, what? I forgot all about that. Okay. <laughs> I'll be tying up with the mall brawl for a while still. It's going to be huge! A block and chain match with multiple towers and multiple fighters, and the champion gets a major payout. The, the champion? Yeah. Something wrong? It's just some local strife with the Lochador. He has a tough decision to make. In either way, it looks like he'll end up with the sharp end of the hook. The Lochador. He used to be with us in PAW back in the day. He's a great wrestler. And a great... <laughs> and, a great <laughs> and a great fish. Great fish. He's a great wrestler. And a great fish. What qualifies him as a great fish? <laughs> hey, he saved his seven kids. That's true. I mean, the fact that he had seven kids... Is, I guess is enough. All right. Perhaps a creative solution will arise. Remember, Brink, always have contingency. There you are. What are you doing playing around back here next to this cactus? <laughs> I, I, I was working, actually. Come on. I've got a real job for us. We're going to help Lochador talk to the other LCW wrestlers and get their input on this championship business. It is possible we could give the championship to someone else besides the Chinampo champ and his canine controller. Who, who, who did you have in mind? Bill Goldberg? <laughs> <laughs> There are a couple possibilities I'd like to approach. Alright, so now we're back to being Brink. Thankfully, it's not Bill Goldberg. <laughs> right. So, alright, my thoughts on Tony Storm and uh, very predictable. Uh, we know who's going to win. I, I don't think anyone thinks Serena Deeb has a shot here. Yeah. That's really about it. I mean, I, I might have something else to say later in regards to another match, but that will come back to this match, but we'll see. All right. So let's go to the next one. I'll go to store. I can buy things. Echo Ray. Uh, I'll be Echo Ray, I guess. Hey, no encore. What's the rush? Uh, who is Miguel? Who is the mariachi band people? I guess I, guess, I, guess I can. Okay, yeah, give it a try. Sorry, Echo Ray. We've got some business in Malibu Heights. Well, I hope they like your music as much as I do. I don't think he will, but we'll see. Oh, don't have the fight. I was going to say, don't not put me against this fucking mariachi band again. Who were those guys? A local Mariachi troop. Very loyal to our town, but... I worry about the way they carry themselves. I'm sorry there's no encore, mi amigo. But perhaps we can give you something better. Lochador, what did you have in mind? The LCW Championship title. Me? A champion? Bah, no, I do better as a subplot, not a main draw. <laughs> you know, as well as I do, that would never work. My gimmick is based on subplotting, on mystery. Shove me into the limelight and that would be lost. Even if that means Pharaoh Fausto's hamburger toy becomes champion? Go 
dog champion, fish champion. It makes no difference to a bat like me. It's a nettle, but there is still hope. Let's go check with Ray X down at the piñatas. Alright, let's go get Ray X. Why don't you start the discussion? Okay. Um, this is one that it's kind of like maybe I could see both ways where okay, Copeland can retain but Malachi kind of needs a singles title I think mm -hmm. and I like the stipulation that it's a barbed wire steel cage match so there's going to be barbed wire on the top of the cage so no one can get involved yeah I think maybe we're at the point where Copeland doesn't really need that title anymore mm -hmm. so I'm gonna say Malachi Black wins the title I don't know it's, this is another one that I'm actually not that sure about and I almost feel like I'm more interested in it because of the whole Malachi Black won't job to people mm -hmm. Right. Which he says, which he says he's, that's not true. But let me say this right now. If Adam Copeland wins and Malachi Black, within a week of him winning, says something to the effect of, look, see, everyone looks like the dirt sheets were wrong. Or, you know, something that's like, oh, look, I lost. So look at me and see that people were wrong. That 100% means that it was right all along. I always just tend to not believe wrestlers in general, like, a lot of the times. So I'm going to call that right now, before I even make a prediction. Um, that being said, uh, I don't I don't want any more Malachi Black, if I'm honest with you. Uh, oh, here you go. Oh, okay. Many of San Sebastian's luchadors come here after matches, especially the young guys. I was one of them, flexing and showing off, trying to outdo the others and get more candy. Wait, what? Ah, but none of them was better than my father, El Padre del Luchador. He could jump the highest, getting that rare air and rare candy. This is also where I first met the conniving Ferro Fasto. He was never strong or fast enough to get in the ring himself, but man, did he ever have a way on the microphone. LCW even let him interview my father during a few promos. Are we getting his life story now? Yeah. <laughs> when I was on the rise, he suggested that we should join forces. I refused. And since then, he has always had a vendetta against me. Now, he's taken that too far. Endangering my family, corrupting the LCW. I must stop him. So, I'm gonna go with... fucking keep Malachi Black. I'm, I'm gonna go with Malachi Black and I'm gonna go with Malachi Black because he won't do jobs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that's a reason, so... Alright, you wanna All right. the next one? Up? Yes, we have two more, actually, so... Of the whole card? Well, no, no, for this first half. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. No, no, no. After this one, I might have to go away for like a minute because I'm going to heat myself up because I'm probably going to eat because I have a rumbly in my tumbly. Uh-oh. Where the hell am I going? Oh, I see a treasure chest. Alright, the next match is John Moxley versus Takeshita. Boy, I don't care about this at all. Alright, so basically in short... This is an IWGP world title eliminator match. Um, 
there is no way Moxley is losing to Takeshita. Right. There's just no way. I think it'll be a good match, but there's just no way he's losing this one. Agreed. Uh, I, I just... Is this the most predictable match? I don't know. Maybe. I would think No, so. no. I think the Tony Storm one's more predictable, actually. Mm, yeah, okay. Sec. Could we say second yeah, most I think, predictable? I think, I think that's fair to say. Okay. Uh, I I don't know. I just don't. It just feels like this was a this is their reason to get um, Moxley on the card. They on the show, yeah. Yeah. Not even I'm the guy. Not even for really to catch them. Just for Moxley. They're like, you need to have Moxley yeah. on the show. Cause, and I'll put in my brief thoughts on it as well. The next paper for AEW is Forbidden Door, which is at the end of June. And I believe Naido, who he beat for the belt, is owed a rematch. Okay. So I could see Moxley getting to Forbidden Door at the end of June with that belt, defending defending the title against Naido. Okay. Yeah, so, so I'm, I mean, I don't have much else to say about this one, but I'm going to sense right now... I, whoa, damn it! Oh! That I might need your help with, uh, with the walkthrough, so why don't, while I do this battle and talk about John Moxley, you can get to this part of the game. Yeah, I'll need help with it. So yeah, I just think this is a whole, like, oh, we need to get Moxley on the card, which is fine, because... I mean, I like John Moxley a lot, so there were worse people they could have done that for, trust me. Wow, that was a pretty big hit by uh Blink. Well, you know, because we're still on the topic of Moxley. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to um, Bleacher Report came out with an article yesterday of the 10 best AEW wrestlers, like wrestlers in AEW. Okay. Since the promotion began. And Mox Mox was random. I guess because of the pay-per-view. I don't know. I was going to say, like, where did, like, all of a sudden... Like... Well, it's been five years since the first Double or Nothing. I guess. All right. So anyway, you're going to tell me about this list or no? Yeah, I am. Uh, let me let me get the list real quick. Because for the most part, I, I agree with most of the list. There's a couple people that maybe I'd switch out. Okay. But for the most part, I'm I'm fine with the list. So I just gotta get it back. Sure. I mean, this battle's yeah. taking a while anyway. That's why I'm saying let's might as well yeah. it up. Like, there's two that I would honestly like. There's two I would switch. On this list. So, all right, here we go. Number 10, Sting. Okay. Nine, Cody Rhodes. Eight. Eight, Cody should be higher. Okay. Um, eight, Rick Baker. Okay. Seven, Hangman Adam Page. Six, Chris Jericho. Five, Brian Danielson. Four, The Young Bucks. Three, MJF. Two, Kenny Omega. One, Mox. Okay. What are your thoughts on the list? They got number one right. I Moxley has been so important to AEW. Like, he has saved their ass time and time again. Like, 2022 was like Moxley's year of just saving the company. I guess that's true. I didn't think of it that way, but I think you're right. I, I think you're right. He has been there since day, pretty much day one. Um, 
and I am fine with him being number one. Sting, I'm okay with, only because of how much he helped Darby out. Okay. And Darby, I would actually have on this list. Yeah, I was just going to say, is Darby even on that list? No, he's not in the top That's 10. That's surprising. Um, I think if I had to get rid of, like, like I said, there were two that I'd take out. Okay. I would take Baker off the list. And I probably would put Cheetah on there. Okay. And I... I think maybe I'd take Jericho off the list. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I... I don't know if I... I don't know if i take Baker off maybe the list. Maybe Paige. I, maybe Paige. Okay. And I'd put Darby in. Yeah, I think somehow Darby has to get on there. Um. Okay, so you, tell me what to do. Okay, so what we're going to do after that victory... Okay, so I'll just wait over here. I'm in the middle because i got to heal anyway. Is I have to wait for another and, damn app. Okay, well... Let's see. Well, Chador died in the last battle. That's not good. Okay, let's see. What While does... you do that, why don't you put up... Uh, you know, do me a favor. i, I got to go do something real quick and then... Why don't you just put up the next uh, match as well? Yeah, I will put up the next match. And then I'll talk about while you figure out what I'm supposed to do. All right. So I'm putting this up. And it is Trent Beretta versus Orange Cassidy. This one is an interesting one. Because of the tease of Orange maybe going to Don Callis. Um, I, you know, it's like I never thought the possibility even came into my mind of Orange maybe being a bad guy. It just never crossed my mind. And with the Trent angle, you know there's a possibility it could happen. I don't know if it will, but there's a possibility that Orange ends up being a bad guy, but he's so loved. Orange is so loved, but as someone told me earlier today, if you really think about what Orange does, some of his stuff is kind of heelish, so... <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Maybe he's got a point. Alright, Oh, the next match is Trent Beretta versus Orange Cassidy. I I was going to say it's easy Orange Cassidy, but I don't know. The reason why I'm like a little hesitant, like I said, is because of Don Callis being involved okay. in this. Because he, like the last few weeks, has like talked with Orange, tried to help Orange. I, I think Orange wins, but... But I don't know if Callus is going to help him get the win. Right, okay. So yeah, that, I don't know, yeah. Did you, by the way, did you figure out what I'm supposed to do? Uh, yes. So you are going to put the green ropes right here. The green ropes? Yeah, you got green ropes earlier. Did I? Yeah. Oh, where, where am I putting them? Oh, here, okay. I don't remember getting green ropes at all. Okay. Springboard, no, I assume? Yeah. So who do you have for Trent Beretta versus Orange Cassidy? I, th I think it's going to be Orange. Yeah, I mean, do you think they're going to really get behind Trent Beretta? Like, that's the real question. <laughs> I know. Um. Oh, what the hell? Okay. What? Oh, what do you need? What was that all about? Well, I guess you got it, whatever it was. Oh, it's one of these sections. Alright, uh, let's let me see how far I can get before I need your help. Alright, well at least we don't have to save kids. Yeah. Oh god. Unless he unless they have something that well, we don't know. Well isn't this his father that we're going to see? Oh yeah, that's right. Let's 
in here? This looks like candy land. I know, so much candy. Well, it's a lot of pinatas. I'm going to be seeing a lot of candy tomorrow. Why? What are you doing? Oh, you well, told me, actually. Yeah. So, I'll mention it real quick, yeah. and then we'll get... So, uh, this weekend is our town's coal festival. So, um, they have a parade, and they just throw candy to everybody. Mm. Like, if you have a sugar tooth, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. No, a sweet tooth. Sweet tooth. Yeah, sweet that's tooth. it. Um, you would probably want to go line up on the streets to get candy because they will just throw candy at you. It doesn't matter what type. Um, Tootsie Rolls, Twizzlers, Snickers, M&M's, Hershey's, M&M's, Skittles, Kit Kats. Yeah. Like bite size. Basically, so basically any kind of candy that you could think of more than likely they've got mm -hmm. and they will throw it you know so of course <laughs> last 4th of July <laughs> my nephew Jacob we were in another town and he, he was like Bill you go get the candy for me I'm like what do you mean get the candy for you you can't get it yourself <laughs> he better not ask me he's going he to better not. I, I'm going to you defer no? him to his Huh? You gonna say no? Yeah, I am. Oh, really? Hmm. All right, we'll see. I'm I'm gonna defer I'm gonna defer him to either his brother or his cousin or somebody. Just referring to a random person on the street. Maybe, maybe one of my neighbors. Talk to this be guy. Like, be like, hey, go to so and so. They'll get candy for you. I ain't doing that crap again. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, there's another section. This one, so far, seems to be easier. So, yeah, yeah, don't jinx it. <laughs> I know. I know. What's this? Is this a book? SNS manual? Just remember where you are on this uh, walkthrough, because what might happen here is we might do the intermission, and I'll ask you to look at it on the... Oh! I knew I would find you out here, Ray X. Luchador, I didn't know you were back in town. See, and I come with a question, my friend. How would you like to be the new king of the LCW? You would give the title to me? Why not? You're immensely popular with the fans. Ugh, you flatter me. I was popular with fans. Now I'm not so sure. I seem to have lost my flame. I think I missed the chance to develop my character a bit, you know? <sighs> but hey, the LCW will always need mid-card stars, right? I am happy to serve there. But... But... <sighs> You're right, Rayax. Thank you for speaking with me. It's no use. It seems I am doomed to leave once again to support the Federation. My family won't take this well. It, is there any way anyone else you could ask for advice? Hmm. I suppose I could talk to Brother Javier back in town. Perfect. We need to get back there anyway. For our first match against grad school. Oh man, that's tonight. You coming, cuz? I'll I'll be right there. Uh oh. Hello, Mr. Font. I was thinking, maybe the honest bucks could go through some character growth. San Sebastian. Well, that shouldn't be too hard because we were just there. So I think we're going to take the intermission in about five minutes. We're going to go to San Sebastian first and then 
be back in like 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then finish up with four matches remaining, right? Five matches. Five? Uh, you know what? Fuck, let's do one more. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, as Bill is putting it in. Also, let me save before I forget. So much candy here. So much. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh god! All right, the next match is the FTW Championship. Chris Jericho, who I didn't even realize was the champion, or I forgot, versus Hook versus Shibata. This is the other match, by the way. This was the other triple threat match, like WWE's. Mm -hmm. Like, why is Shibata there? Why is Bronson Reed there? Like, yeah. I just don't care anymore. Like, I don't, I, I just want, I, I don't like whatever the learning tree thing is. I don't care. I, I hate Big Bill. I don't know. You, you say something about this match, because I don't care. I mean, oh, it's, it is for the, for the world title, you know. Um, I, Jericho doesn't really need to have this belt. Like, I, I feel like I, I'm hoping it's like just a transition mm. to just give it back to Hook or even put it on Shibata. Right, put it on somebody else, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. My friends, I wish you the best of luck in your match. You don't mind if. We won't be offended if you can't make it, Lochador. Yeah, we know you have a lot on your mind. Thank you. My family will be there, though. Hi. Well, hopefully I will find some answers. Come on. We're running behind. We've got to meet with grad school before our match tonight. Love you, love you, Locha. <laughs> that we did. Yeah, so who do you think is going to win this? I think it's going back to Hook. I don't think... I think Chris Jericho's going to win. Because okay. why would he... So, of course he will. Yeah. I can't wait to see what the next LCW match will be. Maybe Echo Ray versus Ray Ransom. What about that would be? Alright, so who's this? Detract DDT. They call me El Rojo around here. I like the sound of that. The Atric DDT El Rojo. I, that's not catchy at all. Terror of the <laughs> Ring. Oh, what's this? The Luch Luchador Movie Theater? Ah, oh, it's close. I can't go in. Who are you? I travel here from the Halo Potato Festival. I'm so excited. Those movies rock. All right, cool story, bro. Sure. Um, yeah, and I'm going. I just want to see what this question mark is, real quick. And then we'll take our intermission. That'll give us about a little more than an hour to go over four matches. I think we can get that done in the time. Oh, God, yeah. If, if we can't. <laughs> right. You picked a great one to not have a long conversation about, too, by the way. <laughs> oh, God, I can buy things. Let's see. I might make this an off-recording thing, because I don't think we're going to get that much farther in this area in general. Right. Well, has there been any late breaking news? Uh, uh, let me check. Even if it's WWE, because we are talking about that show. Well, we did talk about that show. We did talk about it. Uh, Maybe let's... someone else is injured for King or Queen of the Ring. No, I don't see. No breaking news. Oh. Over here. Uh. Are you guys the honest bucks? Thanks for meeting us back here. Sorry for all the staking around. 
But we gotta keep kayfabe up somehow, right? So you guys are beginning a face turn tonight? We are. We, we are. I spoke with L.F. about it earlier. He thought it would be a good direction for us after the Glory Fields battle against United Front. Well, if it's a face turn you're talking, you couldn't do it against better heels than us. We have a knack for getting the crowd to hate us, especially since we're basically just roughing up a few locals tonight. The plan is to make it look like a squash match, then we get back on the mic. That's when you guys come in, we'll tussle for a bit, and then our pawns will rush the stage. Roger. Anything we should do to make it more interesting? See, if you can wrap up the brawl if with our minions quickly, it'll look better if we don't have to call them. Okay. Alright, so we're definitely not starting that right this second, but I do want to get into the area. And also, save, because if I get destroyed, I'll want to buy those items that I've been putting off. Now, where is the ring? Where is the ring? Ah, Frank, this is not what I wanted. Alright, um, let's take our intermission. We'll keep it on this and we'll come back with, a, with the, the outcome of what's going to happen here. All right, it's about it's 5:35 right now. We will be back at about 5:55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bill and I will see you in a bit.
Welcome everyone, we're back, myself and Bill, uh, for some more WrestleQuest and to discuss the rest of the Double or Nothing card. So Bill, what's the next match? Okay, next match. And then we'll see what this is, uh, this cutscene's all about here. I don't know why, my thing's in a little bit of a delay here. So bear with me, folks. Okay, I think we're good. Right. Yes, I do. All right, the next match is the AEW Trios Championship, Bang Bang Gang. Defending against Death Triangle. Uh, let's do this cutscene and then, Bill, you will tell us your thoughts on the match. You All two right. toys believe yourselves worthy to, of joining grad, grad school. Preposterous. What? Why isn't it? Um, don't tell you the controller died. Okay, I won't tell you. Uh, can I do it with one? Let me see. Hold on. Alright, well, tell people about the what you think of the match, because I gotta see what's going on with the controller now. Okay. I'm, this match, this is the one that, like, I don't even know what the angle is. Like, it's Pac getting back with Penta and Phoenix, because Phoenix has been injured for a while. And Jay White and the Guns, they're the unified World Trios champions. And I guess they just felt like wanting to fight somebody, so they chose Pac, and it was like, yeah, big mistake, because now you got to deal with Penta and Phoenix. I, I, I guess that's the story. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I don't care really about the trio's belts to begin with. Um, by the way, I don't know what else to say about this, because it doesn't look like the controller is working now. So let me put on charge, and then we'll just talk about the matches. We might even be out early anyway. So let me, I put him in, let me put it in the stand again. Mm-hmm. Let me see if this actually helps at all. Um. Okay. So, actually, what if I did this? No, that doesn't work either. Ugh. All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't care who wins. I guess Bang Bang Gang's gonna win. Yeah, that's who I'm thinking is going to win. I mean, they just unified the belts. You know, you can't hot potato the belts. Like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, you could, but you just got the belts. Yeah. So, so for those wondering, I did have the thing on charge while I was gone. And for now, some reason, it actually just did not charge at all. Um, in fact, it probably drained whatever was left in it. So I don't really know what else to do at this point. So we might end the actual gameplay of WrestleQuest. You just have to go through these matches just, you know, individually right now. Um, in fact, I'm just going to lower the sound on the capture because I don't... Unfortunately, I actually don't think we're going to get this to work in this time. Um, all right, what's the next match? Let's just get through because now I'm annoyed that I can't play this more. Thank God I saved, by the way. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Bill's going to put up the next match. I'll keep it on charge. If it, if it charges after maybe we talk about the next two matches, I'll give this a try again. But if not, then I think we're just going to talk about that last match and call it a stream. All right. Next match. Next match is the TBS Championship. Willow Nightingale defends against Mercedes Monet. Your thoughts, Bill? Okay, um, this match actually has a good story here because of what happened a year ago when Mercedes had her ankle injury or leg injury and it was Willow that she was wrestling it that night. 
So, as far as a story arc goes, I think they've gone the right way here. Willow is such a believable baby face. I've, I've met her in person. What you see on TV is how she is in real life. Um, this is Mercedes' chance to me to prove everyone who has put her down since she has come to AEW that she has it, that she doesn't need the WWE machine, that she could do it on her own. Mm -hmm. This is her chance. And either she's going to rise to the occasion or she's going to fall flat on her face. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, look, this is probably the most predictable. I'm going to say this is above the Tony Storm match in terms of predictability. Okay. Mercedes Monet wins. There's never been a doubt of it. Hell, the last show that we did was Willow Nightingale versus um, Julia Hart. Yes, and I said the winner is the right. The, the winner is uh, the the winner has the right to lose to Mercedes Monet next month, and that's exactly what's going to happen here. I do not understand because I know that they called a triple main event. Do not there's I do not understand the the logic of Mercedes Monet and Willow Nightingale ending the show at all. Um, to me, there's only one reason, one actual argument that I can think of that would justify this ending the show. Um, I, you know, like I said, I mean, at the very, even, it's not even the main women's title. Right. So, I don't know. Like I said, I just don't think that I'm... Uh, it'd be amazing if Willow Nightingale, Willow Nightingale won. I would love if Willow Nightingale won. I like Willow. She she seems pretty good and as a, you know... But I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I bet... And then I'll put in my pick as well. Sure. Uh, I bet when Mercedes and, and Tony Khan... We're having the discussion, you know, like the contract, all that stuff. I would not be surprised if one of the things Monet asked for in the contract was that she main events a pay-per-view. I would not be surprised at all mm. if that was the case. Because she technically has main evented shows. She main evented uh, TakeOver. She main evented a WrestleMania. She main event well, Royal Rumble's a group of women, but still, you get my gist. Um, Raw's, pay-per-views, you know, she's main evented them. I would not be surprised if she had in her contract, I have to main event, you know, when I have my first match. I agree with you. I believe Mercedes Monet is going to win this match. Yeah, uh, I just and if it is, like I, I'm so annoyed. I'm annoyed at a couple of things here. I'm annoyed about the game situation, um, and something else that just kind of popped in. Uh, look, I if if it's contractually obligated, that's even less earned. Because it's just a contractual obligation, not that you actually legitimately earned it, in mm-hmm. my opinion. So, like I said, I don't, there's only, there's only, I, I just don't understand. I, I would even go so far as to say, you know how we said about the about Logan Paul winning the title earlier? Yeah, yeah. If this match main events, maybe we shouldn't do the next AEW show. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so... I'm throwing that out there, too. Anyway. All right. What's the next match? All right. Anarchy in the arena. All right, go ahead. You go first. Okay. 
this is the big buildup. This is the big storyline angle going to this show. Um, and I have to admit, it's actually been quite good so far. I mean, we're a long way home, but it's it's been pretty good. Um, it sucks. Eddie Kingston's not in the match. He broke his leg a few weeks ago. He's going to be out for about a year, basically. So Darby Allen is taking his place. I expect this to just be a fun, wild brawl all over the place. Um, I, I, I just can't see any other ending except the elite winning this match. Because you have to continue, you have to continue this story of how the elite, quote unquote, runs AEW. Right. I agree with you. I think the elite has to win. Uh, I. I have a very big problem with Team AEW. In that. The only one that it feels is right that's that should rightfully be there is Darby Allen. And I think what should happen here is honestly I think the elite should like for the most part destroy Team AEW with exception of one person. And that would be Darby. And mm-hmm. then Darby comes out, like, I don't know, next dynamite or whatnot. And He's like, no, you know, you couldn't kill me. I don't know, like a bus couldn't kill me. Mount Everest couldn't kill me. You can't keep me down. So I've assembled a new team. And then, like, he starts building up a team in the upcoming weeks to face the elite in blood or guts, uh, blood and guts. Right. And your team, to me, should be, like, I don't know, Orange Cassidy. uh, Yeah, Orange Cassidy, um, Darby, John Moxley. And who's the fourth one? I did have someone in mind. I mean, if if Omega was ready, him, but I don't know if he would be ready that soon. No, he just he just had surgery last week for diverticulitis. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I had someone too. That's what's annoying me. I did have someone. An Eddie Kingston's out, so I can't even say him. I, there, oh, there's I only one. I, I know who it is. I know who it is. MJF. Okay. If he's cleared, yes. So that's, and to me, that is more of an indictment or more of a Team AEW than these four are. Mm-hmm. And and also, like, I, I've not been, I like Brian Danielson, but the minute that he was announced for this match, I'm like, well, they're losing. Because that's all I think of Danielson now. It's like, he's just going to lose. Although I don't know, I don't think he, I think he might have won this past uh this past week i don't I Wednesday, don't yeah yeah um but yeah so that's my thoughts the elite should win they should you know actually somewhat destroy team AEW and they should just make it another team that fights the elite at blood and guts mhm all right let me try wanna... go ahead, yeah go ahead. No, I was going to say, I want to throw out one other name that was not mentioned in all of this. Sure. Hangman Adam Page. The elite suspended him after Revolution. Has not been back since. Mm-hmm. So, where would he fit into all of this? Maybe, Maybe not Sunday, but in the future. I don't think he. I don't think I would want him as part of this. Okay. I, I think I'd, I'd like the team that I have, or I wouldn't trade any of them in for Adam Page. What? Okay. I don't, it's just like I said. That's just me. I guess so. Um. Okay. So let me let me try this game again in a second. And again, if not, then I think we might just. Uh, just call it a call it a day here. Right. Well, we have one more match. Right. That's what I mean. After that. Right. Let's see what happens. Well, here. Why don't you tell people your more thoughts on the 
Elite versus Team AEW. Like, what you do? You like Team AEW? Like, is the, they work for you? It it is kind of like built quickly. This team. Um, I I agree with you that Darby should be on the team. I absolutely do. Brian, I think, is just on the team, kind of like Moxley is on in his match. They just needed to have him be in a match on this show. FTR, FT, the only I think the only reason FTR is involved in this is because of the Bucks. Mm-hmm. That's really the only. I, I agree with that. Yeah, that's probably one of the reasons. So, what I would do. And, and, and I'm going to bounce off you a little bit of your idea. I like the Darby, I, the Darby Allen idea of he builds his own team. So I would change it up a little bit, though. Because so Darby has Orange Cassidy. And then here's what I would do. I would go back to the pillars of AEW. I would get Sammy Guevara back because I heard he's no longer suspended. Mm -hmm. And then if MJF is medically cleared, I would have him in. If he's not, then I would put Moxley in. Yeah. Okay. Because Guevara, like I said, he is, from what I read, he's no longer suspended. So you could bring him back at any time, this would be the angle to do it in. Because Darby and Sammy earned each other's respect from last year. So they're not going to have a problem. Orange would be getting along with just about anybody. With MJF, the only issue that I would have is he's still got a thing with Adam Cole to do. So, it's like you put him in this and then go to Cole or, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, That's my only concern. Yeah. All right, let me try this game and then we'll see. And if not, like I said, we'll do the one match and then end it if I can't get this thing to work. All right, looks like it works a little bit here. Hopefully it stays for a little bit here. Uh, They do not even appear to have the proper tire with those masks. Who made those? Some feeble old man in a dark shack? Ooh. How dare he? The crowd does not share your assessment, Inti. What a shame. Perhaps they think they know better than a wrestling genius with a WIQ of 502. Yes, you here in San Sebastian believe you know wrestling, but it is your very plastic with your luchadors and your masks and your high flying moves, but. Is he running the ropes? Is that what that was? <laughs> There's something about Amazing. wrestling you aren't too familiar with. What's that, Inti? Winning. Now, Cliss, mm. there's no need to get unruly. Grad school is here to give you a first-rate education. Did you see that? Oh. That's how winning is done. Did they just kill them? I think so. It seems they failed the application process. Ha ha ha. Such a shame that no one can match our wrestling or edition. Or edition. Alright, we know... All of this, I'm, 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 I don't think we're gonna change anything. While well, you put up the final match, just because I have a feeling this controller is gonna bur- okay. bust out again, and when it does, I'm we're probably just signing off. Mm-hmm. And you start the discussion. All right. 
final match, AEW World Championship, Swerve Strickland defends against Christian Cage. I feel bad for Swerve. I really do. You had this long build-up, wonderful road for him to get to the title. And his first title, first pay-per-view title defense against Christian, mm-hmm. who's a worthy ad. Oh, no, no, go ahead, keep going because I just I'm trying to do something here to, with the controller. Okay. Who's a worthy? Who's a worthy adversary? It's like maybe the third or fourth most important match on this show when it should be the number one. It really should be. And I think this is how Swerve's title run is going to be, unfortunately. Is we're just going to keep having matches that are bigger than his when it should be his match that's the bigger match. Mm -hmm. But I can't see Christian winning this. I just don't see it happening. Um, Honestly, I'm starting to get to the point where I really don't care about the whole patriarchy thing and him being a father figure. Right. I th- I think it's starting to get old. Uh, Swerve will win to retain the title. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I think Swerve will win. I don't think there's a real debate here, to be honest with you. Uh, I... I'd just be very surprised if um, if Christian won. Um, I mean, I really that's that's what it all comes down to. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, hold on. The honest box here. I didn't realize this was a remedial classroom. <laughs> wow. I think I speak for all of San Sebastian del Encordado. When I say that we've all heard enough of your mouth. What do you care about San Sebastian? We're here to educate them. You're just a tourist. Wow. Really? You're going to go that route? (laughs) A tourist? While you've been in your teacher's lounge pumping out another BS paper, I've been down here immersed in wrestling... While you've been hiding away, drinking soy lattes, paid for by your student's tuition, studying about some wrestler or theorist, I've been down here living with real wrestling greats. Greats like, oh, I don't know, the Lochador? So you and your sidekick keep patting each other on the back on how smart you are but the plain truth is people like the San Sebastianos people like the Lochador people like me are out here doing the real wrestling and I am the best there is the best there was and the best there ever will be (laughs) oh yeah me too are those blue shades a bit too opaque was that not wrestling? Oh, this is me. We got cheese. Let's see. I saw a couple of shallow, shallow philosophers cheap shot their opponents. Yeah, sucker punches don't make you a wrestler. Ah, uh, sucker punches don't make you a wrestler. Cheap shots, sucker punches. Are you kidding? Grad school delivers wrestling like no one else can. You understand? Nobody else in all of PAW has their degree from Full Nelson University. Where'd you even go to school? Full Nelson University or or (laughs) FNU. (laughs) (laughs) In my family's basement, learning from the best of the best, not some hack who's only studied theory. Did you hear that, Eddie? Yes, I did. A homeschooler. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what could you have possibly learned there? This.
All right. This. Oh, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I want to do all these dramatic moments. All right. Let's. I mean, okay. So let's just talk about the card, and because this thing, I don't trust this controller at all now. Yeah. And I think we're probably not even going to do this. We'll just talk about the card, uh, the the card as a whole, and then end the stream because yeah. of these technical difficulties. Um, um. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I was going to say. I, I think with with this card, double or nothing. There's a few more matches that interest me than King and Queen of the Ring. Um, I am looking forward to Anarchy in the Arena just because it's kind of become like a, an annual thing now. I want to see how Mercedes Monet does. The The cage match should be interesting. Osprey and Strong, like you said, that should be a really good match. Um, I just think if I had to pick between the two, Double or Nothing is just like a smidgen stronger than King and Queen of the Ring, but not by much. Yeah, um, I like I said, I think both cards are weak. If I'm honest with you, um, I don't know. That's pretty much all I have to say. Like I, yeah. Double or Nothing has a few interesting ones, like Osprey's match, and, um... Like, I am interested on in how Anarchy in the Arena is gonna be, it's just, it, it takes me out of it that... Number one, I'm pretty sure the Elite's gonna win, so it's like, it's a very, very obvious thing. And number two, I, I, I don't really agree with who's making, quote-unquote, Team AEW. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, as far as King and Queen of the Ring is... Don't really have an interest on that one at all. Uh, I, I mean, other than the Otis stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think I'm, we're going to close this early because I, I think my controls are already giving me indications on here that it's running out low on battery. So, um, okay. all right, Bill, why don't you tell people where they can find you? All right. Uh, you can find me on X or Twitter. I still call it Twitter at House of Bill, and you can find me on Instagram, Mr. Billiam85. And as for me, it's um, official RP Jimmy on um, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube. And I like I said, we're, we're, our next one is what? Um, well, if if Logan Paul does not win the title, it will <laughs> right. be Clash at the Castle. Okay. All right, so we'll have an announcement on that more when the you know as the time comes closer. Uh, so, yeah, I would say probably like a week or so before. It. More than likely, it's going to be a Thursday night or Friday night. We're probably not doing Saturday morning, but we'll yeah. see. We'll see. Me, it might have to be that, depending on how our schedules look. All mm -hmm. right, everyone, we'll catch you next time for some more Wrestle Quest later.